positioning his Essex team behind to the left to set up for the dedication pass. Captain Smith and the rest of the Pacific Air Force's S-16 demonstration team from the 35th Fighter Wing wish to dedicate this pass to all those men and women from all branches of the U.S. Armed Forces and its allies who are really be fighting around the world who have lost their lives while defending freedom. Before we do, just a quick note to the right people. The reason why many of you are here, the newly resurrected mosquito, magnificent wooden wonder, taxing on to the, uh, on the flight path at the moment. We've just seen two moving, or here are two more, strapped onto one airplane, the wooden airplane, the little motor's cone, and into the towers of the it's just a work of art, a tribute to the one gentleman is in the next picture of this is a fourth mosquito that put together. And the five of them in the world, and these guys are really and brought back to the four of the five. So this is just something special. It's the only time we're going to see it because it's going to be taken to America, not the home of its birth. So in the front there, folks, the Arrowhead 5 Tiger Moth, the Gypsy Moth, the Hamlet Chipmunk. Inversion bar one, which is the gypsy moth with the engine they say arguably is up the right ways. As 
as it brings up the rear, this converted six cylinder. And then from the left hand side, folks, the beautiful beach stagger wing and the cabin wake up. Look at the style here folks, Art Deco personified with two wings, big same wing, where the cabin away go, there is 45 passengers, and there is several rock down. Take a little bit of a look at the front one, this is the track for that's way ahead of its time. Very interesting, it's a story with the Largo, now these are built by the Weaver Aircraft Corporation at Ohio, of Ohio. The this Avalon Chipmunk, the Mark 22A, owned by Nick Fraser, happens to be my uncle, and I'm a very lucky man because I'm the keeper of the treasure. the uh, Domini Electra Junior of a local pilot Rob Brook. Pete, you know a lot about this machine. Right, this is a very, very rare car. The squadrons had one of these aircraft and the headquarters guys had one themselves to people around it. This is uh, a very, very rare machine. Definitely. Well, this is the difference in the philosophy between the Americans and the British design at the time. I should see it go up and over here, ladies and gentlemen. for a beer, no? Randy comes. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, look at that, folks. He must have knocked the ignition with his knee or something. Just a little down the office. Here's him, Gonna put it in. Oh, beautiful. Nice one, Gergis. Oh. This one's a good one. Come here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this Mosquitoes was used to build four mosquitoes. Yeah, hard to imagine, isn't it? He's got a pilot's license. Yeah, <laughs> carries, ladies and gentlemen. 
Meantime, in Z238, flown today by US Warbird legend Steve Hansen. Correction, Steve Hinton, Reno Racing Champion, magnificent display pilot, as you can tell. Looks into a sharp head turn. That's a close when we call it Wooden Wonder. One of World War II's fastest fighter bombers. Our engineer pilots flew them with 487 and 488 squadrons for the RAF. These aircraft, like the F-16 we were talking about earlier, they did everything so well. There's nothing an aircraft like this couldn't do. Very solid, made of wood, light, strong, easy to produce back in the day. And that was became a prisoner of war to the Japanese, and he was incarcerated. V12s up at the Merlins, five exhausts, why is that? They had one of the exhausts served as a double of two cylinders and this was simply because of the fact that this market of Mosquito that uh, they didn't blow exhaust gas into the radiators. The later models had the engines were slightly forward with the machine. Here at Wanaka this weekend, Easter weekend, Aspect that Ardmore have built four. This is the fourth. They've got a fifth one on the way. In from the right, ladies and gentlemen. This is the planes. Well, we're seeing this guy as a course. We're seeing the hibernation and mitigation going on. And Mike's done this incredible job of getting it back. Flying again, Frank Parker at the helm, not a bit of flyer on the airfield with Frank. So he's finally brought it back to life and loaned it to the crew. And uh, we're going to move to him shortly. Thank you, Mike, for listening. I'm full of gratitude because when he was talking about what he was, and I knew that the choice had come from the left, and the prominence is something we love, because this is the real thing.
the attack. Graham Bethel going to get one of these baddies. 